Today we're talking downtown girl again. If you don't know what the downtown girl aesthetic is, it's an aesthetic that revolves around the romanticization of living in downtown New York. So imagine you live in a studio apartment or one bedroom apartment and you, you run around New York City with your friends, you go to record stores, you go to underground bars and restaurants and ride the metro while reading a book, have your headphones on. This is Downtown Girl. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you 45 different downtown girl activities that you can do to make yourself feel like you live in downtown New York. Okay, so the first thing that I wrote on this list is watch the Gilmore Girls because for some reason, Rory Gilmore is like the icon of downtown girl. And if you really wanna make yourself feel like you are a downtown girl and you kinda wanna know what that looks like, watching this show would be ideal. The next idea is to go to a concert. It can be an outside concert, indoor concert. It can be at a you know, bar or something. Just any sort of concert kind of gives you the feel of being in a city. Next is to go to an open mic. I'm not saying to sing. I just mean go to an open mic to hear live music because within this aesthetic, there kind of seems to be a passion for music in general. So going to an open mic feels like an appropriate activity. Next is to go to karaoke with friends. Going to karaoke is just fun in general, so the fact that it fits with an aesthetic, even better. Next is to visit a record store. If you've looked on Pinterest at literally any downtown girl photo, they're always in a record store. Like, this is just the thing. Even though, even though they're also listening to CD and they have headphones on, I'm like, wait, records or CDs? Make up your mind but visiting a record store has to be on this list because it's iconic. Next is to go to a dive bar and every city has these, even if it's not like super cool. There's always like a little dive bar that's off the grid and this just feels like something that you could do in New York easily because there's an abundance of places to go to. But even if you're not actually in the city, you could still find one and feel like you are. And if you aren't old enough to go to a bar, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Next is to go to a speakeasy. And I love speakeasies. If I go out, it's always normally to a speakeasy if I can find one because they're so freaking cool. And I always love the really creative ways that you would get to enter the bar. But again, if you're not old enough to drink, this doesn't really apply to you. But for all my over 21 girlies out there, this is for you. Next is to go to a restaurant with live music. Restaurant with live music, it's always such a good vibe and atmosphere. You could ride the subway or the bus if that's in your city. You could walk through the city or your neighborhood listening to your favorite music or favorite podcast. You could also just walk in general, walk to the grocery store, walk to the coffee shop, walk to run some errands. Even if you aren't in a city that's walkable, just walk because downtown girl is all about kind of getting to places on foot because in New York City, that is how you would get around. So even if you're somewhere that's, you know, kind of far a mile or two, just walk it because you want to immerse yourself in the aesthetic. Do it for the aesthetic, okay? Next is to go thrifting. Downtown girls definitely thrift. They don't buy new. They go with the old vintage items, those pre-loved items. So thrifting, definitely had to put this on there. Next is to get boba. I know, it's a simple thing, right? But it's something that I've seen in Pinterest photos of them holding boba in their cute little outfits and uh, that's on the list. <laughs> You could go to a coffee shop or you could go get brunch with friends. It doesn't have to be a Sunday for brunch. You can get brunch any day of the week. You could learn to play guitar or you could take up learning a new instrument in general. And with learning a new instrument, you could start attending some classes for playing guitar, playing piano, attending a class, attending a uh, music class. <laughs> you could also bake those heart-shaped cookies from TikTok. They are really good. I've made them myself. And they're also super aesthetic to take photos of, just saying. Next, you could go crystal shopping. You could go looking for, you know, a salt lamp like this or just some smaller crystals to display. You could go stargazing with friends outside of the city or even just, you know, attempting to stargaze in the city if you're in a city. You could have a sleepover with friends, maybe build like a cute little <laughs> sheet 
tent fort. Like, oh my gosh, it's so nostalgic to me. But it just feels like something that a downtown girl would do. You could have a wine and paint night. And if you're not old enough to do this, darn. You could do it at home or you could even go to a place where they have the wine and paint night where you learn from a teacher and you do it with a bunch of people. I don't know, that just sounds so much fun. You could do something as simple as visit a bookstore. You could take a road trip, make sure you make a really indie playlist. You could go to a plain air painting class or you could just go do a plain air painting by yourself in the park. You could start keeping a sketch journal on you and start sketching things that, you know, inspire you or just doing it in your spare time instead of sitting on your phone. You could also set up a creative corner in your home where you can paint, draw, whatever you want, just so it's like a dedicated creative space just for you. You could have a paint night with friends. You could read a book. You could sit on a bench in a park and people watch just for fun. You could go to a place like Color Me Mine and paint some pottery or any other place that has pottery that could be painted or ceramics. You could visit a pumpkin patch in autumn and I know that's such a small thing, but it's a downtown girl thing. <laughs> you could go into the city and get a tarot card reading with friends. I don't know why, but that just sounds like so much fun. You could simply just listen to music in your room on a record player or headphones just listen to music in general. You could start bullet journaling, create a bullet journal if you don't have one already. You could study at a coffee shop or go read at a coffee shop. You can do a photo shoot with a Polaroid camera or you can even start taking photos and film. And the cool thing about doing these two things if you have a film or a Polaroid camera is that you can also display them and they fit the aesthetic decor really well. You could start writing poetry. You could go see a Broadway show. You could go to a poetry reading and uh, get to enjoy everyone snapping like this. You could create very specific playlists for different occasions. Go watch the sunset on a rooftop. You could go to a rooftop bar if you don't actually have a rooftop to your building or you can't climb on the roof. Yeah, there's multiple ways to do this. You just go somewhere where you can enjoy the sunset. You could attend a scavenger hunt that happens throughout a city or your town. You can find these easily on Groupon or meetup groups where they send you a list of things you have to find. And then at the end of it, everyone gets together and they show each other what they found. And yeah, it's a lot of fun if you've never done it before, highly recommend. And the last one is to have a movie night with friends. Yeah, I guess that's it. So a lot of very specific ideas and activities just set for this aesthetic. I hope you guys like everything that I came up with on this list. If you can think of any more that you would like to add, feel free to comment that below for everyone else. And thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.